we're gonna do today. I can't even imagine. Okay, listen up. This is a family emergency. We're going to go outside. There's a man coming in and we're going to talk to him. He wants to ask us something. I didn't realize it right away. Let's all hurry up. Let's go through. I didn't realize it. So, can you tell us again what you want us to do? Hello, my name is Villager. I am the head of the Villager's Village and I have come to you with a huge request. Could you please help us help our village? It was destroyed by some unknown tornado. It happened very quickly. It went by, learned and everything was destroyed. And now a great number of inhabitants have been left without their homes. Can you please build us a new village? We can't build anything ourselves. Only our ancestors built a village and we have already learned. Your help would be helpful. But we can't refuse when his help is requested. We must then prepare all the resources. Let's get together now and do everything, guys. Then let's go. Let's hurry up and get started today. Some wind is strong strange. Okay, guys, uh, we're gonna have to build a whole village today. But you know what I find strange is that they were destroyed by some unknown tornado. It just appeared and disappeared. And our clouds are strange too. So you know what I think? The streets, there's a very big chance here. You really think it might show up? But we've never seen tornadoes this strong before. And they've never been here before. It would be very strange, of course, if it showed up here. Let's just build them a great tree. Buddhists always have fun now. I once read a book about tornadoes, and it was written that they are very strong destructive force, that they can destroy houses and trees. There are all kinds of tornadoes, and if the resident is telling the truth about their tree, where, it's really scary. We're gonna have to build them with sturdy materials. I don't know, of course. Maybe they had houses made of mud, and then they might have collapsed easily or made of some paper. It would blow on them and everything would be destroyed very strangely. We have to be careful, B. Okay, honey. Now, we're gonna build up to this village of residents. First, we're gonna have to build the very first house. I don't even know where to start. Let's make it stone. Let's build houses differently so that the ambassador, which houses, if we are attacked, will be intact? This is very important. If, of course, the whole village is destroyed then, which we built for them, then our house will be destroyed too. That would be very sad. I don't think it will be good for us at all. Yes, I completely agree with you. It will be necessary to build so that all these houses will remain intact. And I am very scared of this story. I don't know about a tornado or a tornado. I don't know, but that's really scary. Do you remember us? Tsunami, it was generally scary. Our house then destroyed several times, and we had to find a new place to live. And so, time after time, I don't even know if a stone house will help here to keep everything intact. And I'm on. Let's start building the house, too. We're getting late. The parents have already started first. Well then, look, I'll take a tree and we'll make a base like this. Why do you say tree more accurately? Well, I'll just tell you because wood is cool. I love it when there's something wooden. It always smells so good and creates a nice atmosphere. And one more thing is it keeps the heat in, I think. And it's not so cold when it's just everything. But the floor, of course, will be made of stone. I like it. Yeah, I like trees and stone too, but have you seen the parents? Why did they build everything out of stone? They don't really like to build the same kind of house with a very strange need. I'll ask them later why they built it. I have to hurry because there are a lot of people without homes. We must provide them with a roof over their heads so they can return to their warm, cozy homes that we built for them. So, well, I'm asking you to get out of the building as much as possible. The house is almost ready. It's small. We're building it for you. The head of this village, you will live in it. I'm going to build a roof, some nice, nice roof for you so that you can enjoy not only inside your house, but also when you come out of it, outside its beauty. It is very important for us to create for you, not just some shacks or simple houses that would be ugly. We want to surprise you with a real beautiful village. Yes, it's really important for us to make a great, nice village. And these are the kind of walls I'm going to put up for you. I hope you don't mind that it's made entirely of stone. We want to provide also a huge fortress of yours 
so that if there's another tornado, it won't destroy the houses. It is very strange, of course. What it does, there has never been such a tornado here. And I can look around and for some reason there is some wind in it too. For unnoticed, I guess it's possible. I'm just winding myself up now. Thank you so much. I would welcome any home. More residents will be coming here soon. Hey Blue, you and I are behind. They already built a house there and we still can't even do a proper wall and roof. So what do you want me to do? I want to have what like a second floor here. Of course you can't live on it, but for space ceiling, which will create just from the sense of space and coziness, and then the residents who will live here will be very comfortable such houses. That's if in reality to buy them I think they cost a lot. That it's the most real design is cool. It's not just some ugly house that they built. Parents? Hoping, of course, they won't hear that. Habingo, what are you even saying? If you don't like the house, you don't have to call it ugly or whatever. To say that its parents or anyone else can't live in someone else's creation, maybe. Lena, are you just trying to hurt someone's feelings? I understand, of course, you say this not with malice, just you probably do not know that so you can offend someone. And if you would not be offended that your house would be called ugly, it does not know. Who wouldn't be offended? Just remember that and don't do it again. Look at this. It's starting to rain. It's not like it's normal, but it's been a long time since we've had rain here. Sometimes it does. Well, it seems to be just as hard. I don't know. But we have to hurry. We're building an animal enclosure so that the residents can keep their animals here, like cows and stuff like that. Yes, let's build and then let them bring them here with them or somehow already from these animals would be, of course, not very good. If they did not run, it's just that we have our door wada here in the yard and we do not need them here later. Different paths, animals, as you know, can roll up anywhere and they don't care at all. Yeah, sure, you and I are two dogs too, but that's different. You and me, we're kind of smart dogs and yeah, that's what makes us different from the cows. Living, you know, I don't even know why I'm saying this. Well, um, never mind. Let's make them as comfortable as the residents. Build a better enclosure here, now here. Of course it's going to get wet. I'd better hurry up with this one and the roofs. Listen, I've got a great idea what kind of house we're gonna put up next. Look, there's gonna be this step here. And you probably don't realize where it's going right now. And I'm gonna say, here's so up the mountain now. I'm gonna dig through here super fast and we're with. Such a cozy little house up the mountain, and no death can ever break it. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's an interesting idea. Then I'll put the most obscure interesting blocks here so that whoever settles here has a house. I don't know, really cool. I can't call it anything else but that it's uphill, and it's a cool location, and it's gonna be filled with ender blocks, and you gotta put something else in there. I'll probably put some purple blocks in there and it'll make a great cool interior. Look at me or more. This rain is getting heavier. The residents are getting bigger and we need to hurry up because we need to make sure that everyone has enough houses here. So what's this you're putting up? What is this block anyway? We'll do something unusual and beautiful. We're sick of ordinary houses. We'll put up some incredible beauty. Oh, I'm sorry. It's raining so hard, but yes, Let's hurry up, and this house will be for real connoisseurs of beauty. Because look at this combination of colors. It fits together very well, as if it was created for. I'm going to put some unusual beautiful glass here and a huge collection of books. I think it would be a good idea to make this house incredibly beautiful and lovely. Blue, you hear the thunderstorm and the wind. The wind is getting incredibly strong. More and more, it's starting to build up. I'm getting scared already. I don't like thunderstorms, okay? So what's this idea you never said? What is it, a glass house? See, the idea is that this house is going to be fully expired and it's going to be very interesting to be in because you're going to see everything that's going on around you. It's like you're living in nature but it's also preserved. They are coming to the house because there will be a floor also made of planks, not just the usual glass floor. Will we put something interesting here and some more beds? I think it's interesting. Of course, there will be a problem with the sun shining. I was also in the daytime, let's say. 
If you want to sit in the dark, you can't do that. It will be all glowing and we'll think of something. That's a wind that pours like that. I've never seen rain like this before. I think that's right. It's a tornado close, and it's as close as it's ever been to us. We've never even seen it. I even want to watch it a little bit, but that's it. I don't want to see it, but I want to see it. Let's put purple glass like this, man, yeah. It's such a great house. I'd live here myself. I don't know. It's a wild wish. Maybe we'll move here and give the residents our tree house. Yes, the house is really cool. I would not argue with you here. I would move myself. But do not forget that we can always still build the same two, or even something better now. The main thing is that if death attacks us, they would be able to you, and they'd be strong to look at. These materials are pretty strong. I don't know about glass. Well, maybe it won't break at all. Why should it kill? But it's strong. Everything, I think, will stay. And I'll put it here like this. And so that the inhabitants can sleep well here, of course, if a couple of people settle here, there will be a lot of space for them. They'll enjoy themselves here. All you are ready is the last building for today mom and dad are finishing. And the last thing we have to do is to make a place where the residents will also live and they will hopefully fit in here and everything will be fine. I suggest we make it like this. On the weight, I do not know whether it will be good or bad. We will check it and will be what kind of gender from experiment. Well, I hope everything will be fine. Let's make this building great then. It'll be made of what? Bricks and wood. These boards, they're very dense and very strong. They'll make a great house. Man, that's a strong age. It's getting scary. And I think it was a bad idea that we built a glass house, that if it's glass, Everything will just start breaking and falling on the inhabitants. Oh, bad luck to those who decided to move in. Well, very much so, by the way. Or living in this village. Very strange, of course, that so many do. It started all of a sudden. Only we have not had time to finish the last house that it seems to me or sucks in the residence. Oh no, in this tornado are flying residents and cows and all sorts of animals. What's going on? So here the residents are in. It's okay, this house is standing okay, so we need to see more. If there's anybody in here, oh yeah, here's everybody running around looking too. Is everything okay? Oh my God, what's going on? Blue does not stand still. You too can be sucked into this tornado carefully. If you see any breakages, try to fix them. Do not leave everything just like that. The whole village starts to collapse. We built it very well, of course, but still there is something that is collapsing. And those who did not have time to run home, not just now, swirling in this tornado, it's scary to imagine what would happen if it just picked up and stopped. Check it out. If anyone needs help, help, help. Now I'm going to try to fix the roof so that at least no animals fly out of here. Any escapees, is it just me or is it flying away right in front of my eyes? It can't be like that. There's no blocks. They're just sucking you in. Doctor, I've never seen anything like this before. I'll just have to build up the whole place to at least save someone here. Oh no. Mom, have you seen anyone? Is everyone okay? I'm really worried. It's a tornado. Bingo, everything will be fine. Don't worry. As long as we help others run and rescue, then everything will be fine. So you there watch our house. That also hit a snag. Oh, come on, it's solid. Oh no, okay, we'll figure something out later. Let's make sure everyone stays alive as much as possible. Let's save everyone. No, what is it? The rain has gotten even heavier, even more tornado, picking its way through everything it feels like they're here for days off. And don't fly away live or not. Stop, press against the walls. You don't need to go out anywhere. And yes, Anne. It happens. Just don't get close to the wind flow, no poor horse. What's going on? I've never seen anything like this. We need to get out of here so we never live here again. Guys, it's really something scary out here. Everyone's flying around. It's horrible. I'm trying, trying to patch things up. Nothing helps. Nothing saves. No matter what we do here, it's all for nothing. Even houses that didn't hit at first are now starting to hit too. Half the residents are now flying into streams and couldn't. Power to the floor, how scared are they? 
Although, when they fall, some yes, they stay alive. Hopefully, all will be fine. Almost all the animals have already been thrown out of the pens, too. And the resident, hang in there, hang in there. The very first one, by the way. The sturdiest, surprisingly. Who would have thought our house? What happened to it? It, too, is already almost destroyed just a little bit more, and we, too, will start to be sucked in. And this house, which was built last, it doesn't get hit at all. They should have been all atoms. That's the way to build it. Finally! 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 It was over for the whole night! It's been going on like hell! Look at everything that's happened here! Now it's straight ahead. There's still a lot of work to be done here. Many of the animals are gone. Many of the inhabitants. This one's just half blown out of the glass house altogether. He's put out half an eel. It's amazing. The house on the mountain is fine. Oh, it's also a beautiful house remained intact. It's amazing, but a little bit only it was knocked out. But it's OK. We'll fix it up. It'll be fine. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel. Put likes to all. Thank you very much for watching. See you all later, and bye-bye.